Rasse en ons is live op TikTok en ons gaan nou met David praat en David gaan oh, David is van Australië af en David het baie kilogram gewagvloer en ja, David coach al vir 7 maande met my op die keto waar en carnivore en kom ons kyk, daar so sy Mr. D is hier so Pet Pedro is hier so Christel kom ons kyk Ah, is David, welkom hier so allemaal, hallo Johan Ja, cool Dag sê, dag sê, en David is hier so goed en Invitation sent ja. So I wonder why it's doing this It's making these small blocks now Anyway, let's see Okay, David, can you hear me? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. So let's see. Uh, you can do Ah, there we go. Uh, let's, I don't know why it's making these small blocks nowadays. You look so small now. I'm also so small. But let's see if we, if I can't, uh, let's say expand. Okay, so at least you are big. I'll be the small guy. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, Very be good. Your, I'll be your conscious. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like it's supposed to be. Huh? I'm I'm always David's conscious. Whenever he, he he's, he's in a restaurant, he's thinking of me. Right. <laughs> Back in my head. I say Joanne is also yeah, Joanne, uh, okay. Joanne um, and uh, Jock. Yeah, it's nice to see you. We're going to be 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 to this conversation uh, yo, David and let me start with the the backstory. I have, first must give them the backstory of David. Eh? Can I can I tell them? Eh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so um, David was one of my first clients um, when the coaching picked up. Uh, David was one of the first clients to to do coaching, but I did not do follow ups at that stage. No. and David insisted he wanted to talk to me every two weeks. <laughs> so. And ever since then, David, it's now seven months. Yeah, that's right. Seven months. We've been talking um, uh, every every other week, and uh, it, I, I always look forward to our conversations. Oh, it's, it's so amazing. It's been a it's been a real journey. Yeah, it, it has been, David. I I wish I had a before and after picture that I can show the guys that what you looked for <laughs> before. And how, how good you look now, you know, what's the difference between the two? But it's what a transformation. Eh? Yeah, no, my whole, it, it, yeah, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Mm. I mean, yeah, like I was telling you before, I, um, yeah, man, just so grumpy and tired and lazy. And, and, now, and now my whole life has turned around. It's so, incredible. And, 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 and you get uh, lots of compliments at, at, uh, from the, the colleagues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Compliments and, and disbelief that that you can, you know, that you can just bypass the bread and the chocolates and all the rubbish and you can just focus on eating meat. I mean, it's, yeah, so they, uh, they're impressed with that as well. And even in Australia, so I'm, yeah, it's, I don't know if, it, if anyone knows, but I live in Australia and I'm in South Africa now visiting for the next four weeks. Um, and even in in Australia, I talk about Quibus Creel and the carnivore diet and all of that. And they, um, yeah, it's amazing. It's been a great, great journey. Yeah. And David, just again, thank you for what you do. Uh, I, I told David now, because we had a coaching session, I told, well, I told him that, um, the ripple effect of, of his testimony is reaching far and wide. I've done many videos for, 
for David as he progressed. Uh, I, I call it celebration videos. And, and I remember one day I had this big weight. Remember when I dropped the weight? <laughs> I dropped the weight. I, I think I broke something. <laughs> so it was wow. <laughs> and uh, how much weight did you lose in total? Uh, so seven, se yeah, it's coming up seven months and I've lost 18 kilos the last time I weighed myself and 23 centimeters around the weight, over around the waist. Beautiful, beautiful. But, but everything else has changed. I'm full of energy, I'm starting to exercise, do, you know, running and that sort of stuff now because um, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm there, you know. Mm. Um, yeah, H happier, happier marriage. My staff at work are happier with me, so it's all just a a good circle. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. And, uh, but but tell us the backstory because you when when we did the coaching, you told me about uh, the surgery that you were planning. Yes. Yeah, so I was. Yeah. So I, I mean, I tried everything. I even tried carnival before. Um. Um. Jeepers, what is that? Somebody just gave you an... Karina, Karina is taking, putting uh, the gifts here. Karina, thank you so much. Karina, why don't you... Karina is also moderator, David. So she's... Oh, yeah, yeah, she's... She's... Uh, she's uh, <laughs> yeah. The big cheese. Just, the big cheese. Billy, Billy, I just want to say thank you also. Billy, why don't you be mad? Yeah, so... Um, the, the, thank you for the gifts. But dear, thank you for all what he so is. Great waardering. Yeah, so, but tell us about the, um, tell us about the, the surgery and what led up to the surgery. Uh, what is the backstory there? No, yeah, so I'm, yeah, so I immigrated four years ago, just didn't look after myself. Um, and then had a little baby girl and I was, you know, thought now it's time. I tried everything, every diet, the apple diet, the blend your food diet, the, I tried the carnivore diet, I tried keto, every single thing, calorie counting, weight watches, yes, man, every one under the sun. And then um, I decided to go and get one of those balloons implanted in your stomach, which is uh, hassle free, it just looked like a good option. So I did it. Oh, well, I didn't do it. I, I went for the consultation, I went for um met the doctors the surgeon i went for blood tests all of that stuff and then they um phoned me with my blood results to say fatty liver is there pre-diabetic um my glucose it was everything was out of shot my cholesterol high blood pressure was high um and she was very worried she actually said uh, the doctor there in australia said that if i don't act now um that I'm, I'm in a position where I'm, you know, I'm going to be in trouble. Um, and then, yeah, I was looking at the, the side effects of the balloon and the, I was actually worried about my mood, to be honest with you, because they said that's a big one. And um, then I thought, you know, and I'm going to reach out. I'm going to give this carnival thing a bash. The last time I did it, I, I felt great. So I did that. I reached out, started the carnival diet. It was a Friday. Um, that Friday night, went for a big dinner, and I, all, I almost tucked into some bread. But my wife actually said, "Like, come on now, man. You've, you've met with Corvus. Just get your get your act together." And then since then, I've been absolutely strict, and uh, I'm forever grateful. Forever grateful. And then we meet me, me and you meet every two weeks. The, yeah, the, 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 I've had one bad meal in the last seven months, which was uh, a big bowl of rice when I just, when I just finished my six month. Yeah, I almost got a heart attack when you sent me that picture. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, I sent, I sent, uh, I sent you that picture. Yes. But, uh, you know, you know why I did that though. I did that because I needed to prove because I just don't trust myself when it comes to eating. There's just no trust. I've fallen off. I've tried everything, but now it's been uh, at that stage. It was over six months, and I needed to see if I could trust that I could get back on it the following day, um, yes. which, I, which I did. So wonderful. And even now, I went 
on an airplane, flew across the world back to South Africa. There was no temptation in the lounge. There's no temptation on the airplane. There's no, even here with my friends and family and we're having dinners and celebrations. I'm no not, I'm not oh, interested. That's wonderful, man. Yeah, it's great. I don't, I don't it's, know myself. It's, it's liberating, eh, David. It's, it's so, uh, so freeing. Yeah. yeah. Big time. Um, Kubis Fisher is also here. Uh, Kubis Fisher is in the, in the chat. He's a, he's a motivational speaker. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's also a client of ours, friend of ours, and he's, he's also lost like 35 kilos and all, all big stories. Hello, Kubis. Yeah, so, no, this is, um, this is such a great testimony. And David, why I respect your, your um, what do you say, your, the belief, or not the belief, the, the principle that you have to say that you want to do that coaching every two weeks. Because there were some stages that I said, ah, let's do the coaching once a month. And you just said no. And I know you have a book there and you write all the things and you're, you're very strict with that. And this is the discipline that takes you to the next level. And I, and I want to congratulate you for that. That is very, a very good example. Thanks. Yeah. I think that's one of the, the success things. I see Karina, I put in the chat accountability. I think you, I'm not trying to sell your coaching, but you're a true, you're a true professional. And I know that every single two weeks that I have to make sure, you know, that I'm sticking straight down the line because I'm going to see Quibus. So it's important. It's very important to have a, a partner in it. Thank you, David. Thank you. Yeah. No, uh, and, you know, it, I, I always use the analogy of uh, ping pong, you know, table tennis, ping pong. Yeah. Uh, so if, if you hit the ball, you ping, but the other guy has to pong, he has to hit back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there are some clients that don't always hit back. And it's, it's, it's hard to coach if you don't hit back. Yeah. The clients that does the best is the clients that back so so they they respond effectively yeah and and nobody's perfect we all make mistakes you, I, you know but at the end of the day i think that accountability thing it's a mindset we we even launched a boot camp we we are doing the boot camp every second thursday it's called mindset yes and it's uh it's i think it's one of the best boot camps it's very popular because um as you might know Diet is 51% of the, the, the success, but mindset is 49% of the success. Yeah. 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 But tell us about your accomplishments because you did a couple of things in the meantime uh, you couldn't do before and you managed to do them. Uh, tell us what, what did you do with all those push ups and things that you do? Oh, no. Yeah. I think, oh, I don't know what, at some stage, you like wake up and you have this yearning to exercise, which is for me, which is very strange. Um, so yeah, at work we did, we did, they, they do this thing for, for mental men's mental health awareness in, in, in Australia and, and, um, for, I think there were, we did a, a total of 3,500 push-ups in, in 25 days, something like that. Um, so yeah, so I was in on the team and then I, I downloaded this app called 5k runner and I started running on the, on the problem on the beach, um, in Sydney. Um, yeah. So starting to exercise and we did a sit up challenge and yeah. I have, I've also, I've also started doing, um, walking meetings, wow. which is great. Yes. Yeah. And this is not because. This is, yeah, this is because I feel, you feel different now. You feel, yeah. like you get up, you're not tired, you, it's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, and, and can I, can I talk about the mindset thing that you, yeah, you please, please do, please do. It was weird because I have a, a colleague of mine who's, who's really not looking after himself at the moment. Um, 
And he actually said to me, yo, man, it's so difficult. And, you know, you only eat chicken and meat and you fish. There's like, you only eat a few things. And it's so difficult. Mm. And I actually said that, like I said to you earlier, that it's actually, that's what makes this actually so easy. Yeah. That you don't have options. When you only have three options and you only need to choose between three things, it's yes. an easy decision. Yes. Very There's true. a thousand other things that you can, you know, that everybody else has to choose from. Absolutely. And David, uh, I think also because uh, in one coaching session today, I spoke to one of our coaching friends and he still had this thing that he still sees uh, cheating with on a diet as a as something special you know he thinks of the the pizza as something special and i just told him you know you, you should break that that thought because it's it's really not that special yeah. <laughs> it's really not that special and it's a, it, i think it's because we are being um uh, we, we've been bom been bombarded with 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 media and with advertisements that it is so nice to take a, a bite out of that pizza. You know, I mean, it's just the next best thing, and it's really not that good. <laughs> you know, it's a steak is a steak is actually very much better than than a than a. If you think of a pizza, it's just dough, man. It's like this meal and woolly man. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, you just became Elvis. Whoa. <laughs> well done. It's really, really, really made you a rock star, man. Thank you. Hello, so Inc. Hello, Inc. Welcome, Amal. What he is. Yeah, we are very, very much uh, appreciative of your time, David. I know, uh, I mean, you're here on a trip and you you give us some of your precious time. I'm so grateful for that. You've, you've um, given me, you've given me my life back. I'll, uh, this is nothing, man. Uh, thank you, David. This, this is a huge compliment coming from you, man. Um, how does your wife feel about your life changing carnival experience? Ah. She, she was initially, she, because I, I um, jumped from diet to diet. She was, a bit uneasy with the fat and the meat and my cholesterol was high everything was out of whack but now she's um yeah a big supporter big supporter mm -hmm. yes I, I i want to talk a little bit about uh, the journey because seven seven months is a long time and i want to again congratulate you for that you are becoming a veteran now because <laughs> hardly, hardly yeah no seriously because David, you and the other guys that are, uh, that I've got a couple of uh, coaching uh, friends that are successful um, around about your month, uh, your seven months and, and even a little bit longer. But that is that is fantastic to, to see that. And if you can persist this long, I know you're going to make it because now it becomes a thing of I will never go back. Um, I don't think you will ever go back to where you came from. What do you think? I, you know, I think, yeah, if I, if you had to, I think if I had to measure it in hard, like what's hard, I think how, what I felt like and how borderline miserable I was back then is a lot harder to live like that than it is to maintain this, this way of life. So I don't think, I don't think I'll, I'll go back. I hope not. I really hope not. I'm still, I still, because of the many years of trying, you know, things, I still don't trust myself fully, but I'm learning to trust. I'm learning yeah. to trust. Yes. I would be yes. devastated if, if I went back to even half of what I was. Yeah. But you, you, you're a public figure now. So you, we've, we've taken you uh, to the next level. Now. I'm going to do you're, it. You're famous. you're famous now. You're going to, on YouTube. I'm going to put this on YouTube and uh, you're on the spot now, man. So people are going to look for David in the future. And did he make it? <laughs> the, only <laughs> fan, the only fan that I've got is this one over here. That's the only fan. That's our fan. That's the only fan I've got. <laughs> But, but tell us about your journey, because I think the people are curious. Uh, was it all plain sailing from the beginning? Because I remember you started on Carnival. Or maybe we, we must take it back even before you, you started, because I think you started on your own 
a carnivore, didn't you? You, you yeah, started a yeah. little bit, but, but you didn't succeed quite there, did you? Yeah, no, I, I started, well, I, I started with you and starting it at pretty much the same time. Oh, uh, okay. All right. I think, yeah, the only challenge really was, I also had, I had gout, eh? Bad gout. Okay. It was a challenge. The first couple of weeks, my foot looked like a, the, the, a watermelon. Really? Um, mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, so so yeah, that was just the first few weeks with the sugar cravings and all of that stuff. I can't even remember, to be honest. It feels like this is normal. But everything changed. As soon as everything got on the got going, I started doing the saunas and the ice baths and all of that sort of sort of things. Yes. Just oh yeah, all worked hand in hand together. Yes, and and the the gout did it ever return? No, never. Okay. Never. But there was there was one time that you we had a discussion. I, I think you ate fish with with yeah, some. It came back. It came back like uh, three three or four months ago. Yes. I had I had um, I had a steak with salad with the, like cucumber salad, and on the salad there was a dressing. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, I think that was it. Mm. It came back, yeah. But since then, nothing. Okay. Right. Yeah. So you you were you were carnival for a week and then you did keto ball. Correct. Yes. Correct. But very, I was very limited on the the keto ball stuff initially. Mm. Um. Yeah. But now, yeah. Now my diet mainly consists of meat, chicken, fish, um, and then a little bit of like cucumber, a little bit of avo um and a little bit of blue black blueberries occasionally okay yeah that's great yeah that's fantastic man yeah david i'm i'm very proud of you and uh, i'm so happy that you you talk to us and you encourage somebody because they they are people that suffer from gout and they say yeah oh, the keto war um will give you gout or the carnival will give you gout and I mean, here is your testimony. You've just told us your, your foot swell up or swell up like, like a watermelon. <laughs> initial, yeah. initial. But, but then it, it went, it went down. So how long would you say that did it take for the, the gout to go away? No, normal. No, I, I took, um, I took meds at two or three days. It was a normal, a normal gout attack. Um, it was very quickly then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, normally it's pretty, pretty quick for me, like four or five days and then I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. That's great. No, fantastic, man. No, I'm very happy that, uh, that we talked and uh, let's see if there's more questions that we can answer. I think we must do a poll. Let's do a poll. Uh, okay, yes, Billy. Billy says, I was on Carnival six months, fell off for two months. And back with course. Ah, yeah, I believe. Uh, that's what I see, uh, uh, David, is that the coaching works. Uh, they, they are sometimes clients that come for a coaching session and then they, they only do one session with me or maybe two sessions and then they go away. Or sometimes they do a little bit longer, then they go away. And sometimes they fell off. Yeah. I, I think there's wisdom in what you, your approach is. I think you're very... Um, you're very stubborn <laughs> for lack of a better word no it's true yeah in the in the sense that that's why you're sticking with me even though i i sometimes say no let's coach in in a month's time you say no let's coach in two weeks you know and, and i think that is also that's helping you a bit is that persistence um, not a bit yeah it's not helping me a bit it's it's everything Thank you, David. That's very much encouraging. No, it, is, it is for me, for me, because I know, you know, if I did one coaching session and then, I oh mean, then what, then what, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, I, I hear what you say. So yeah, for me, the, the, every, the fortnightly check-ins are crucial, man. They're crucial. Thank you. Thank you, David. Yeah. Right. So let's, let's do a poll, David. I've got this little competition thing going on lately and let's see a uh, text poll i've got a question here that i've posted 
And th this question is, well, it will pop up on the screen now. And it, the question is, if you press on the, you'll see a little blue blue thing there. You can you can press on it, and then it gives you a, a poll. So it says, "Et jy al gekrook?" Now the people can answer now. "Et jy al et jy gecheat op die karni voor die eet of jy waar?" And now, alle mense kies, you know. So they have to vote. And we'll see now. It's running for for thirty seconds, uh, for another thirty seconds. So we'll see. So they can either choose yes or no or almost, <laughs> and the answers come in 100%. Let's see. So you can press on that blue thing and and you can vote. Let's see there. 100% people. So I, I also ate something uh, that I shouldn't eat. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Only human, eh? That's human, but the, the secret is that if if ever it happens, is to get back to the basics. Eh? That's it. Yeah, uh, get back to the basics. Don't f stay off the wagon. You've got, uh, to climb, you've got to climb back on the horse immediately. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Estian is also here. Estian, welcome. So Ashley is here. All right. Let's see. Let's do another poll. I've got another poll lined up. And let's see, text poll. All right. Okay. It, this question is, what make you stick to the diet? And then I've got a couple of options there. And you can see there, the first, first one is fear for sickness. And number two is your loved ones. Number three is sport. Number four is health. And number E is self-confidence and the uh, uh, body uh, uh, to improve your body. So the aesthetics. <laughs> so 75% say health and 25% says self-confidence. Ah. Let's see, let's see how it runs. And 80% uh, says health. Health is the thing that... Yeah. Yes. Cool. Uh, Karina says, giving up coaching is like running away from home. It always, it, you always come like that. <laughs> okay, Karina. <laughs> you know, it's it's quite it's quite crazy to be doing this with you now for me because I was here a year ago in South Africa, really, almost to the day, and I got a lot of insults. People saying, "Oh, you know, Australia's lacquer for you, eating lots of stuff there," and this time it's totally the other way. It's like, it's like a real journey, huh? From yes. And it and it took a South African to get you back on track, eh? That's it. That's it. <laughs> anyway, no, David, I'm very proud of you, man. And again, your your story of success is inspiring, and it's it's such a privilege for me to know you, and and thank you for your friendship. No, I I'm, thank you, thank you very much. Very, very much. And thank you for inviting me onto the live. Yeah, you're welcome. Man. It's, it's one of our best lives. It's, we've got David from Australia here, man. We, we, we're blessed. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's do another poll. Let's do another poll. Let's see what's happening here. Yeah, Karina says, what are you, what are you doing in South Africa, David? My, my, my parents live here. My wife's family lives here. So we've come, uh, we've come for a visit. And then I've also got some work um, interests here as well. So, um, so yeah, work and them. The main thing is Biltong, man, David. Be honest with it, eh? Look, I'll be <laughs> honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I found Biltong in Australia that will give South Africa a run for its money, eh? <laughs> Actually, the South Africans, they're doing it wrong now. They're laying it in, in Worcester sauce, and that's not a good idea. No, <laughs> so, that's true. That's true. Natasha, thank you. All right. And 
is Natasha sent, give me the vote. Thank you, Natasha. I appreciate it. Okay, let's do another poll. Let's see what question can we ask here. Uh, and yes, a nice one. How long are you on carnival? So, come on, Skype, Vicky. So, you can see how long are you on carnival? So, the first one is less than a month, and then three months and five months plus and nine months and 12 months and two years and three years yes and let's see the poll is still running hey we've got a few we've got uh, 14 percent that is nine months plus Gustav is also here. Hello, Gustav. All right. Yeah, the polls are in. Forty-two percent is less than a month. That's great. Yeah, David. Is there anything else that you want to say to the guys? No. <laughs> Eat your meat. <laughs> Eat your meat. Eat more fat. Um, no, just, yeah. Accountability partner is, um, is the answer for me. So if anybody's struggling, they should do two week check ins. It works for me. Thank you, David. I've worked this th thus far. Yeah, thank you, David. And thank you for your testimony. No, I really appreciate you, man. Thank you. And uh, I think we're going to call it uh, a night. And uh, yeah, and you enjoy your, the rest of your stay here. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in two weeks' time. Sounds good. Thank Thanks. you. Cheers, David. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye, David. I see. Yeah, David. I see. Uh, David is a Easter, huh? Goeie greet. Het is nou so lekker geweest om met hom te praat. Het was lekker, Karina, ne? Baie lekker. Ja, David, uh, David sy getuin is so groot. Ek gaan hom verseker op, op YouTube laai. En, uh, uh, Henk het een vraag gevraag. Kom eens kyk, Hugo, wat is Henk sy vraag? Ja, skies Gustaf, ek het uh, vroeg begin hoor, uh, ek het, uh, ons het kwart oor begin. Asse. Uh, Henk, baie dankie vir die gift. Um, well, uh, die vra Estien vrou, hoeveel het, het David verloor? Hy het 18 kilogram verloor in 23 centimeter. Ja. Uh, ek sien nou nie Henk, sy vraag raak nie. Kom ons kyk wie keer. Um, Karina, ja, David weet van die bootcamps. Ja, ek praat gereeld met hom oor dit. Uh, sy, sy tyd is net per keer bykie moeilik, uh, want altyd as ek om coach, is dit 8 uur in die aand daar so, so dan is dit 12 uur Zuid-Afrika tyd. Maar, um, ja, so ek het nou, ek het het nou gemaakt um, 10 uur, so het behoort nou al bykie beter vir hom te wees. Maar het is ook een moeilijke tijd, want hij komt dan bij die huis, je weet, dan zit het uh, moeilijke tijd. Eens kijk goed dan. Oké. Okay. Wow, voor die slechte smaak in die mond. Wow, je krijgt uh, peppermint druppels, waar? Je krijgt uh, bij die apteek, krijg je peppermint druppels. Ja. En... Karina sê ook, pinkie mela in Zuidwater. Ja. Ah, sê. Storm is, is also here. Storm, welcome. Is, uh, David's, David's wife. Nice to see you. <laughs> ja. Ah, sê. Alright. Nou maar jylle, dan gaan ons maar bykie groet, nee? 
Ek dink het was baie lekker gewees, en David, baie dankie as jy dat nog luister. Ja, dis, dit was nou so goed. En uh, nou ja, jy moet een mooi aantie, Henk, baie dankie dat jy was, Estian en Karina. Het is in somme baie gaf. En ja, Storm, baie dankie dat jy ook ingeloer het, en Gustaf, en David weer eens, baie baie dankie. Dan sê Ashley, waardeer jou, dankie dat jy was, en Henk, jy moet een mooi aantie, Ruben, groot waardering, Kobus Visser, groot waardering, hoor. Joanne, baie dankie dat jy was, dankie vir die gift ook, hoor, Jack, baie dankie, Willy, baie dankie vir jou gifts ook, en dankie dat jy was, en, uh, en Conrad, groot waardering, en Pieter, Pieter is ook hier so, Aan sy my mater, baie dankie dat jy was, groot waardering. En Rina, en Henko, en Lorraine, en Marty, en Desiree, en, en Stoutgaat is ook hier gewees. Daar is hy, Gerard, waardeer jylle hoor. En, as, Johan, Elliot, en Pedro, Mr. D, nou ja, toe. Daar is hy, mooi af. Karina, baie dankie, dit was nou baie lekker gewees, nee, en nou kan praat ons weer. En dan sê, dankie Bazzie, waardeer jou hoor. Groot waardering. Ek volg jou Bazzie hoor, baie dankie, Ben waardeer jou. Baie dankie, dankie vir die roos, ouwe. Groot waardering. Ja, sê jylle, Karina sê, wees weis en eet vlees. O ja, en onthou, morgen sê Spierbouw Bootcamp, is 10 uur, ne? So, ek sal die link uitstuur, morgen. Nou maar toe, ja, sê, jylle moet een mooie aand hee. Dankie, Bazzie, mooie aand vir jou, dankie vir die roos, ouwe. Dankie Karina, mooi blij jylle.